Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, the piercings I've had and just when I got them, if I can remember. I don't know. Um, someone just asked if I could sort of recap on my piercing history and I'll just see what I can remember as I go. <laughs> yeah, I've had quite a few, or I have quite a few. Um, I feel like I've sort of reached the end of the line as far as what I want pierced. So, kind of sad, but, you know, kind of good, because it's expensive, but, <laughs> um, yeah, so, let me think, I think, yeah, so the first piercings I ever got were my lobes at Claire's when I was, like, 10, which was honestly the worst decision of my life, because, I don't know if you've ever had your ears pierced at Claire's, but, um, they use terrible piercing guns and they use terrible terrible jewelry that is just so bad for you and I'm pretty sure I was severely allergic to whatever they put in my ears I know I can't now I can't wear any Claire's jewelry because I'll just react to it within like an hour or like a couple hours my ears just get really itchy and like ugh, it's horrible and so when I first got mine done at Claire's um they got pierced and they were so badly infected that I used to cry all the time when I was trying to clean them and like my mom was trying to help and it's it was not a good experience. I remember I had to take them out and I think I got them redone like a year later, a couple years later or something. They were just so excruciatingly painful because I was allergic to whatever they put in my ears. It was horrible. So after that obviously <laughs> branched out a little bit I think. Um, I think I remember my friend in high school did these two, just, or actually I think I had three, yeah I used to have three, so my friend in school, you know, safety pin, not that I'm condoning piercing yourself with safety pins, this is just what happened, so I had three of these, and yeah, three, of the, three up here kind of, and then my one like regular lobe down here before I had stretch shears. And then, I don't remember, one day I was like, I'm gonna stretch my ears. So I got like, you know, the tiny little ones. They were cool, they were like silver and like, wavy, I don't know. They were, I thought they were like the best things ever. So I stretched my ears with those. And obviously, over the years I've gotten bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, so I think, I can't remember, probably around, four or six gauge or something, I ended up, I had to take the third one out, or the, the one closest to my earlobe because it was just too close, and as I was stretching I was obviously like, it's just gonna go into it eventually, it was really, you can still see the mark if I take out my, um, my plugs, like the mark where my old piercing used to be is pretty much like inside where my stretch hole is now is, it's really weird, anyway. So now I just had these two. Um, and then I think after that, the first piercing I got, which I consider to be like more, I don't know, more edgy or whatever, um, was my industrial. I still have the same bar I got pierced with and that's why it's so freaking long. And that was in grade nine. This was a long ass time ago. <laughs> um, yeah, it was pretty good. Not too terrible there. The healing and industrial isn't that much fun, but now that I have it, it's pretty good. Um, then I think, yeah, I think at grade 9 or 10 I got my conch pierced. And I actually think that was one of the easiest piercings I've gotten. I don't know why. People say it really hurts. I didn't find it that bad. And I could pretty much sleep on it the first day. It didn't bother me at all. Which is nice. And I have a bar as opposed to the um, I think, yeah, my tragus, I don't remember what came next, really, but, <laughs> um, I think, yeah, my tragus was an interesting story. Um, I wanted my tragus pierced, but I decided that it was way too expensive. It's like $70 or $60 or something. And I was, you know, in high school and poor or whatever, didn't want to 
ask my my parents for money or I couldn't ask my parents for money or I don't know whatever they didn't want me to get it I don't know so I decided that I should get my own piercing clamps and piercing needle which was sanitized by the way like a full piercing kit and I sat in the mirror with clamps on my tragus and I pierced my own tragus which was interesting and difficult um it didn't actually hurt as much as you think it would but it was horrifying, like my ear was bleeding and it was weird and then it was, I found it really difficult to get the jewelry in after the needle and that was a good experience. I wouldn't recommend that anyone did that, but I mean, I've had it and the placement is good. I just marked it with a pen, just did it myself. I don't know why, because I don't know, teenage angst. So anyway, um, then I think I got my nose done somewhere around there, just one side. And you know, that's fine, whatever, as far as nose piercings go. I don't actually really remember getting that one. And then um, I have my lip pierced. Uh, yeah, actually my lip might have come before my nose because I was still in high school when I did this one. And I did this one with a safety pin by myself. I know, I'm gonna get so many hate messages. And that's okay, because it already happened like a million years ago and it's too late to do anything about it. So, <laughs> yeah, this, I don't know why. Yeah, me and my friend decided this is a good idea. Just mark it, stab a safety pin through my lip put some jewelry in there, um, yeah, worked out better than I thought, looks fine, see, and then the inside, I just had my flat back, yeah, I don't know, it was fine, so sketch, but fine, not that I, okay, seriously, don't go home, or <laughs> if you're in high school, and you want to get pierced, and your parents won't let you, you probably shouldn't Follow my example and go do it yourself in your bathroom. That's not a good idea. Don't do that. So, <clears throat> anyway, I think after that I got um, my other nose side, which healed pretty well. I, I remember I definitely had to do sea salt soaks on this one, which was really annoying. You know, the cup had to stick my face like in the cup because um, for some reason, yeah, it just was angry. Yeah, so then the last person I got was my septum. This right here, um, which I don't wear out anymore, really. I don't know. I feel weird about it now, but I still like it, but then I don't, I definitely don't wear it out very often, unless I'm going somewhere specific or whatever. I don't know, maybe I just, I've worn it up in my nose so long that now I feel like it looks weird on my face. I think that's what has happened, but <laughs> anyway. So, that's all these piercings. Um, so, if you have any, I know that was a really long-winded video, but if you have any questions and you want to know anything else about it, or you, if you want to share your own experience or whatever, then just leave me a comment in the box or send me a message, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.